In part 1, we have discussed the basic concepts of epoxidation, the factors affecting rate of epoxidation reactions. So, in this part 2, we will see what is sharpness asymmetric epoxidation. So, sharpness asymmetric epoxidation is advanced level epoxidation reactions and it is in the name itself asymmetric epoxidation. A chirality is present. So, let's move on to the topic. Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation is a reaction in which allylic alcohol is converted to epoxy alcohol. So, allylic alcohol is applicable to sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. Allylic alcohol is converted to epoxy alcohol. So, in part 1, we have seen the double bond. Alkene is converted to epoxy ring. So, here also alkene is converted to epoxy ring, but it is allylic alcohol. A uh, OH attached to a carbon attached to double bonded carbon. So, inactive selective reactions, sharpless asymmetric epoxidation is inactive selective reaction. Inactive selective reaction means uh, when enantiomers are formed, it will uh, it will have a major product, only one major product, only one isomer is possible in inactive selective reactions. Maybe it may be uh, above the plane or below the plane. Only one stereochemistry product is possible in asymmetric epoxidation. Now, these are the reagents used in sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. You have to study these reagents. The oxalate is tertiary butyl hydroperoxide. Tertiary butyl hydroperoxide is the oxidant in sharpless asymmetric. And titanium isopropoxate is the catalyst. So titanium is in 4 oxidation state. Oxidation state is plus 4. And plus or minus DET. That is the chiral ligand. So this is the most important reagent in sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. So the product, the stereochemistry of the product depends upon this reagent. Chiral ligand. DET. Diethyl tartarate. Diethyl tartarate. That is DET. So uh, the product depends upon whether this DET is plus or minus. So uh, looking upon to DET, we can predict the product. Whether the epoxy will be above the plane or below the plane. Now we can see the reaction of sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. This is a general reaction. So we are taking an allylic alcohol and the double bond is in vertical position. And CH2OH alcohol is in lower right position. Alcohol is in lower right position and double bond is in vertical position. And we are applying the reagents tertiary butyl hydroperoxide, titan or titanium isopropoxy and plus DET. So when plus DET is added to the vertical alkene and the OH in lower right position, what will we get? A below plane epoxy. So below plane is the product here when plus DET is added. Now when minus DET is added above the plane. So for plus below plane and for minus above plane. That's the main rule here. When the double bond is in vertical position and OH group is in lower right position. When plus DET is added below the plane and minus DET above the plane. So you should by heart or you should study this rule. When alkene is in vertical position and OH is in lower right position, in this form, plus DET will give below plane and minus DET will give above plane. So, we will uh, see another mnemonics through examples. Let's solve problems. And the first trick for solving the problems in horizontal alkene is RWLT. Red wall, la, diva. So, R is for right, W for wedge. Wedge means this above plane notation. So, this is wedge. And L means left and D means dash. This 
notation. So R W L D. This is the trick for solving the alkenes in horizontal. So R for when O H group is in right position, so we will give this wedge notation. When it is in left position, we will give dash R W L D. And this is applicable for plus D E T plus D E T and for minus D E T in the reverse for R L. Uh, for right dash and wedge left, this will be in reverse order. You should study this only. Plus D E T R W L T right wedge left dash for horizontal alkenes. Now we can solve the problems. In first problem, the let's imagine this double bond is in horizontal position. So this will be like this. So this C H two O H will be in Upper right position, upper right position. So here a H is present. So uh, this O H is in upper right position and the hydrogen is in lower right position. So we have to rotate this double bond such that it becomes vertical position. So when we rotate this to this uh, vertical position, what will happen? This upper O H, upper right O H will become. Upper left orange, so it will become like this. Upper left orange, C H two orange, orange. So upper left orange, and it is in left position. So what will be the product? L D left for dash, and plus D E T is given. So left dash. So the product is. C six C six H seventy and here dash dash means below the plane epoxide is formed R W L D L left D dash so here O H is in left position and plus D E T is given so epoxide will be below the plane and now in this example also the same case. When this double bond is rotated like this, this upper O H right O H will become upper left O H. So L D. Here also plus D D is given. So L D is applied. C eight H seven D dash and O H. O H is not affected. And if it is minus D D T, what will happen? The epoxy will be above the plane. And now in this example also, this is in horizontal uh, way, so we can rotate this as this, and this orange will come to this side left. So plus D E T dash. Epoxy is in below plane O H, and here minus D E T is given, so reverse, just the reverse of plus that will be above the plane. So you remember R W L D four plus D E T for horizontal alkenes. And now comes uh, another example in another way. First, lithium aluminium hydride is given. So we already studied about lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride can reduce this propargenic alcohol. This is a propargenic alcohol. So this triple bond is converted to double bond alkene. E alkene. So what will be the product? This double bond is not affected. And here, what will happen? C double bond C C H two O H and the hydrogen. Okay. So this is the E alkene. Now plus D E T is given. So this double bond is in horizontal. And when we rotate this to vertical, this right side O H will become left side. So the same case is followed. Plus D T is given. R W L D O H is in left position. So dash. The remaining uh, compound is not affected. C dash position of epoxide formed. C H two O H and the hydrogen. So this is the product. A dash below plane of epoxide is formed. R W L D because the C H two O H is in up 
upper right when we rotate this to vertical position the upper rod is rotated to vertical position the oh in upper right will become upper left so the l for d uh, d for l so left dash epoxy is forming below the plane now the fifth example it is simple uh, this we already discussed in introduction so this is in vertical already in vertical position and this oh is in lower right position so we already said when oh is in lower right and double bond is in vertical position plus dt will give below the plane below the plane below plane epoxide oh so this is the product so these are the examples for sharpless asymmetric epoxidation so i will summarize uh, today's section sharpless asymmetric epoxidation is a inactive selective reaction so only one isomer is possible in sharpless asymmetric epoxidation we can predict the stereochemistry so the stereochemistry depends upon the chiral ligand det det any chiral ligand it can be dipt also now if the chiral ligand is plus and minus the stereochemistry changes and the mnemonics for the sharpless asymmetric epoxidation is when the alkene is in vertical position and ch2oh group is in lower right position plus det will give below plane epoxy we are talking about the stereochemistry of epoxy group so epoxy will be below the plane and for minus det it will be above the plane above the plane and for horizontal alkenes horizontal alkenes we rotate the horizontal alkene in vertical position and just look the position of oh we first we rotate the vertical uh, alkene into vertical and just look the position of oh and remember r w l d right wedge left dash if it is plus d e d this can be used so if we rotate the horizontal alkene to vertical and oh group is in right position what will be the product above plane wedge notation epoxy will be the product if plus d e t is used and if left dash left position oh then dash is used and for minus d e t just reverse this order r for d and wedge for left this is the order for sharpless asymmetric epoxidation